hi guys welcome back to hope is alive channel if you have been praying for a loved one or someone very very close to you and you haven't seen too much action i've got a prophetic word for you today hi guys welcome back to hope is alive channel it's been a couple of weeks i want to talk to you today from mark chapter 8 and verse 22 it says they came to bethsaida and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand, led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home saying, don't even go into the village. <laughs> it's interesting. In verse 17, Jesus has said, you've got eyes and yet you cannot see. And you've got ears, you cannot hear. In fact, that's a theme that comes through the first um, eight or nine chapters of Mark all the way through. You've got eyes, but you can't see. And you've got ears and you can't hear. And it's no accident that this story comes straight after Jesus has just recently said that again. You've heard of people that are totally blind and cannot see a thing, and yet they see more than you and I do. They see more into the spirit. They see more spiritual things. They see more of God. We have eyes and we don't see. They don't have eyes and they do see. Now, Jesus had this blind man brought to him. Uh, it was just up on the northeast coast of the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus dealt with them. Whenever you see Jesus dealing with people, he just meets them at their point of need. He doesn't say, transform, come to church, put on a suit and tie. He meets them right where they are. And this is quite different from the deaf and dumb man that he healed not so long ago. He takes them by the hand and he takes them for a little walk. Then he spits, then he touches the man, laid his hands on the eyes, and the man began to look, and he could see some shadows moving around. He had never seen people before, he had never seen trees before, he had touched them, but he had never seen them. So Jesus said, right, well, take this further, and he laid his hands on him again. Now, there's something remarkable about this, and I want to encourage you if you've been praying for loved ones. This is the only miracle as far as I know, in the Bible, that didn't happen immediately. It happened in stages. The purpose? Well, I don't know. I've been thinking about this. When uh, Can you tell me the date and time of your conversion? For me, I can. <laughs> but for most people, at least a third of them have got no idea it's been a gradual process. Does it matter? Not really. Does a baby need to know its birthday to be alive? Not really. Um, do I have to remember my wedding anniversary to know that I'm married? Um, no, but I better remember it just in case. So some people come to Christ in a blinding crisis like the Apostle Paul. Maybe you say, I don't know when it happened. I just began to see things. I began to see things moving around. Maybe it was trees moving I began to see things that I hadn't seen before. I know for me, I had opportunity um, at least seven or eight years before I came to Christ. I heard the gospel and I didn't respond to what I heard. But over time, clarity comes. And this is what happened here with this guy. Jesus just said, let's pray again. And the important thing is, like the blind man, we should be able to say, I was once blind, but now I see. I once walked in darkness and I had to depend on others to lead me around or to give me any knowledge of God. Now I want to walk in the light and I can see him myself. The important thing is that Jesus didn't finish with the man until he did see clearly. And that's the wonderful thing. And sometimes with some folk, it takes a bit longer. I know I was hard work. <laughs> Others, they just see the light straight away. Uh, but Jesus doesn't give up until you do see. So here's where I want to encourage you. If you've got an unsaved husband or an unsaved wife, 
keep praying for them. Is there someone close to you, a workmate or a colleague or uh, some member of your family that you've been witnessing to and it's like the light hasn't switched on. Maybe they even come to church on a regular basis and yet they still haven't made that commitment to serve Christ as Lord and Saviour. I want to encourage you, keep going, keep believing, keep praying and pray especially that they will gain clarity and be able to see. I once was blind, but now I see. It's a word for you today. Bless. Hey, thanks very much for watching Hope is Alive channel. To watch more videos, don't forget to subscribe and click over here or just down there or just there over my shoulder or just up to the right of my head. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Send to your friends.